Hi everybody, it's Hal Rains. Welcome to Artful TV. It's exciting to get to spend another period of time with you when I get to talk about my favorite stuff, pottery. I know you'll find this hard to imagine, but I didn't even touch underglaze this time. Instead, I chose to sketch, then carve and burnish. I burnished a lot. There are tools that are like erasers that are great for sketching in clay, but I like skewers. I mean, you can easily rub over the top of it if you don't like what you've got there. And that, my friend, takes us to loop tools. You see, when I'm working with the, the tools like this, the loop tools, and you see I'm going around the patterns, realistically, um, I'm turning this into a 3D design. So all the little swirlies and the boxes and whatever, you have to carve away layers. That's how you get the shapes you need. That is a burnishing tool right there. Well, the burnisher is an interesting tool because it allows you to smooth the edges, compress the clay, and it polishes the edges as well. This next little tool is simply a modeling tool. It's sort of like really thin spoon where it just digs and gets into little cracks and crevices. And remember guys, this is a 3D piece. So you have to remove layers, lots and lots and lots of layers. This is another type of a loop tool. I mean, if there are curves, believe me, there is a tool made to fit it. You remember last time we had Amy Cole? She's a sculptor. A lot of her tools are very much the same. In fact, many of the tools have the same names. It just has the difference between the type of steel or the type of carbide size overall that makes the determination for the price. There is a finite thickness and even though this is a bowl, it's still relatively thin. Possibility of carving through everything that you're working on. It's odd that you'll spend about as much time burnishing as you do anything else. Because remember, you want to make that clay tough. Okay, so this is where the fun really begins. I've finished the sketching, already peeling back layers, doing some burnishing. You can start to see the shapes coming together. You can see the 3D stuff going on with some of the vining and some of the packaging and the diamonding. Oh yeah, this is where it gets really good for me. This is a sweet spot. This is one of my very favorite tools. I mean, it gets into everything. You can see the little shovel end of it. It's really pointy and it does a fantastic job peeling back those layers. You can see it just gets in the little cracks. It's just, it's like the perfect tool. For sculpting, it's kind of like scrub, 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 scrape, 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 brush, 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 polish some more, and then you start to shape. Oh, you really get nice shapes coming. Okay, note the nut picker. Yes, really, it is. It is, and I'm using it for burnishing. Scratch, scrape, shape, shape, shape. Okay, say it with me, scratch, scrape, shape, shape, shape. You might be thinking, oh my God, how long did this take? Well, let me tell you, this was a three hour process. It was right at three hours from me um, basically starting when I sketched it out with the skewer sticks to actually when I was able to stop it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I just know that that's my thing. You really can't compare yourself and your work to other people. I mean, biblically, you know, the, the Bible calls us a fool if we do that, but we kind of do that anyway, don't we? We do that. I wish we didn't, but I think everybody does. I guess the point is to say your work is your work. If it takes you 10 minutes or 10 hours, it's your work, it's your thing. So that's all you can ask. 
Okay, there's no grand discourse here. Just, we're talking over pottery, all right? So I'm just about finished. You can tell that the shapes are really coming together. I still have to use this particular modeling tool to round the edges and carve the depths of the vines that I need. And that is it. Thanks for taking a clay journey with me today. Bye-bye.